Welcome, you want to know how to get US American Netflix in South Africa, then you found the right video. In the US Netflix version you have over 9 times more movies and almost 7 times more TV shows compared to the South African Netflix version. First I'm going to show you quickly how it works and then I'm going to explain in more detail why this works. So first of all, if we try to access Netflix.com in South Africa, what happens? Of course, Netflix redirects us to the South African version of Netflix. And you will also see in the background, there are different TV shows and different movies shown here compared to the US Netflix. So how does Netflix know that I'm in South Africa? Well, every website can see your IP and you can just Google show my IP if you want to do it yourself here and here this website shows me that I'm in South Africa and every website can see all this information basically. So this is how Netflix knows that I'm in South Africa. This is internet address based, the IP. This is not GPS, which is satellite based by the way. So don't confuse this with GPS. This is based on the internet access location. So what can you do? Below this video you will find a list with services called VPN, Virtual Private Networks, which is actually a security service and security software. And you can see a list of good ones here. You can click on show more here. Or if you're on a mobile phone or tablet, you can click on the title or on the right below the video, there will be an icon to see the description. Then you can click on one and check it out. And here you find more information how ExpressVPN, for example, can help you watching Netflix because you can choose any location in the world to access the internet and then get what, uh, watch Netflix there. And if you're wondering if it works for you, go to products. And here you see a list with all systems and all devices you can use this on. So if you have a smart TV, Apple TV, Windows, Mac, iPhone, iPad, tablet, Android, whatever, this should work for you. And then you can set this up. Yes, this is, a, this is a paid service. I'm going to talk about free options later on. I already have set this up here. I'm using ExpressVPN regularly and you can see at the moment I'm also connected. That means that all my internet traffic is completely encrypted and no one can see what I'm doing. So this is the main feature of using a VPN, by the way the security and privacy it offers. And if I click here, I have a list of recommended locations. And if I go here to show you, I can go to all locations. So yes, I could click here on the US Tampa, but I want to show you here, you can go to all locations, the Americas, and then I could click here on the United States, but then I would only use the first of many locations. So I'm not going to do this. Click here on the arrow. And here you can see there's a long list of locations I can choose from in the United States. And if I would just click on the United States, then it would automatically choose the New York location. And also if I would just use here the one, uh, the Tampa one, for example, or click here on the United States, then I will only use those locations. But I want to show you that there are many locations. And yes, it can happen that one location is not working. Probably you had this experience that your local internet service provider was not working for some time. And ExpressVPN has a lot of local internet access points. And so it can happen that one does not work somehow, and then another one will work. Now I'm choosing Tampa again, or let's choose Miami too. And I click on continue. So now it's reconnecting me with their location in Miami. And then from there I can access the internet and access Netflix. So now I'm connected. That means I'm completely encrypted again. No one can see what I'm doing. And here I'm reloading this page just to check if I'm in the United States. Usually I don't do that. I'm just doing this to show you. So here now it says I'm in the US in Virginia. Well, that's not exactly Miami, but 
I noticed that this particular website is not very specific with the locations, but I should be in the United States right now, so I should be able to access the US American Netflix. And what I want you to do, if you're already logged in to if you're already logged into Netflix, then you should sign out and maybe you also want to clear your browsing history and notice what's in the background here, the advertised movies and TV shows because this will change. I'm leaving this South Africa country filter here, by the way, because Netflix does not care what's in the address bar. They will automatically redirect me to the country version they think is appropriate for me. So I'm reloading now. And as you can see, the background changed, the, tide and the movies, the TV shows and everything. And also here now in the address bar, I don't have any country filter anymore. That means now I can access the US American Netflix. And I'm going to sign in just to show you that it works. And as you can see, now I'm logged in and I can access all the Netflix stuff I want to watch, all the TV shows here and all the movies and probably a lot of this you are not able to watch in South Africa. And I can also check the latest. Here you can see new TV shows trending now and so on take some time to load at the moment. So maybe I should have chosen a different location in the US. So maybe Miami too is quite busy. So I could choose another one, but actually for me, it works quite fine for watching. And by the way, you can see here my ExpressVPN is on. Sometimes people write in the comments that it's not working anymore somehow, but I think they just click on the first US whatever they see and they don't take advantage of all locations because yes, it can happen that some locations don't work sometimes. So choose another one and another one. And if you have problems with a few, then you can contact the support. They have a 24 hour support if you have a premium service and they should be able to help you. And otherwise they have a 30 day money back guarantee, by the way. So if it's not working for you somehow, then you can get your money back even. Now you have seen that it's working. Now I'm going to explain it in a little bit more detail. So why should you use the US American Netflix compared to the South African Netflix? Well, there are nine times more movies and almost seven times more TV shows. So it really makes sense that you want to watch the US version compared to the South African version. But Netflix has exclusive content in different countries. So although the US media library of Netflix is the biggest one, there are some movies and TV shows which are not available in the US, but they will be available in the UK or in Australia or in Canada or in other countries. So it makes sense to use this kind of tool where you can basically change your location within a few seconds to any country in the world and then make use of Netflix much more than you could if you'd only use your South African Netflix version. Of course, this is because media CEOs still buy and sell rights by country. So, so Netflix has different media libraries in every country. And this is also why they try to produce so many movies and TV shows by themselves because then they don't have this kind of problems to negotiate the rights for all the media. And if you're wondering, it does not matter where you got your Netflix account. If you have an US American Netflix account and if you are in South Africa, guess what? You can only access the South African Netflix media library. But with this tool, you can watch all the TV shows and movies you are used to in the US. And if you have an African Netflix account, well, if you would travel to the US, Netflix would have to show you the US American Netflix version. But with this tool, you don't have to travel to the US. You can just access the internet in the US and then watch US American Netflix. And actually, it doesn't matter where you got your Netflix account. You can watch any country Netflix you want with this solution and change the country within a few seconds.
And as I mentioned, you can use this on all devices, wherever you want to watch Netflix, you can use this also on your Chromebook, on your Kindle Fire Stick, whatever. You can use this on your PlayStations and so on. As I showed you, websites can see quite a lot about you. They can see the approximate location and many other things. And this is how Netflix knows where you are. And then they show you the specific country version. So what you want is a global internet service provider. And this is basically what ExpressVPN offers, although it's rather an online security tool it, because it encrypts your internet. And the good thing is they have a 30 day money back guarantee. Yes, there are cheaper VPNs, but my favorite is ExpressVPN. That's why I'm showing it here in the description below. You find others which might be a little bit cheaper. Here, of course, the 12 month package is the cheapest. You can try first just for one month and then decide if you want to get more, but they have a 30 day money back guarantee anyway. So even if you choose the 12 month, you have 30 days to test it and try it and see if you are satisfied or not. So there is no risk to choose the 12 month plan. By the way, if you choose the one month plan, yes, it ends automatically. So you don't have to worry that it continues. I have a separate video explaining how VPNs work. I can tell you all big companies use virtual private networks to secure their company data, but also for private persons, it makes sense to encrypt your internet to prevent other people and companies and governments from spying on you and also to prevent hackers to see what you're doing on the internet and to protect you. But for most people nowadays, VPNs are used to unblock geo-blocked content. There's a lot of content in the US, like TV channels, Netflix, HBO, Hulu, and so on, which is geo-blocked. And with this solution, you can unblock a lot of this. And also you can unblock geo-blocked stuff from the UK or from Australia and so on. So there are a lot of uses to use a VPN in addition to the security you get. But if you have a bad VPN or cheap VPN, it can slow down your internet. Of course, there is this encryption process and you're rerouted through a different server. But if you connect to a US server in order to watch US Netflix, guess what? There's not much of a detour for the data because you have to, the data has to go to the US back and forth anyway. And of course, if you're suddenly anonymous on the internet and try to access for example, Google, you will get a critical security alert because Google usually keeps track where you are and from where you usually log in. And if you suddenly change your location and are anonymous and Google doesn't see any other information about your system and so on, then you will get this critical security alert. So don't be afraid. You just have to be aware that if you use a VPN and then try to access this kind of um, any kind of service, they will probably give you some kind of security alert because you suddenly changed your location and are anonymous. So this is a normal thing. Then you just have to say, yes, it was me and everything's okay. I'm very sorry, but I'm, I don't know any free VPNs which work with Netflix. Actually, also many cheap VPNs do not work with Netflix anymore. But now you're probably thinking, okay, this guy tells me I need a paid service and he says that free services are not good. So why should I believe this guy? So please just Google it yourself, research it yourself, look for free VPN dangers. By the way, the same applies to the Tor browser. Some people say they use the Tor browser somehow to access streaming sites, but please also research Tor browser dangers before you try any of this. But you should know this from your local internet service provider. Is it free? No. And probably the faster the internet you want, the more you have to pay, right? And the same goes with VPN providers. They have to have access locations in many countries and within certain countries such as the US, they have many access locations. So yeah, this costs something. And if you want a good service, of course, it costs something. But the good thing is you can use up to five connections at the same time. So in theory, you can use it on several devices at the same time, or you can share it with friends and family and maybe even share the costs. And by the way, developing the software and apps for all devices and keeping this up to date takes a lot of time and effort. So 
it makes sense that premium services such as ExpressVPN cost something. As I mentioned before, below the video, you find a list with good VPN providers that should work with Netflix. If you're watching on a tablet or mobile phone, you can click on the title or on the icon below on the right below the video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please tell me what I could do better in the comments. I hope now you know how to watch US American Netflix in South Africa or actually anywhere in Africa or anywhere in the world to get much more movies and TV shows. I showed you how easy it is to access the US American Netflix from South Africa. I hope you enjoy watching.